solving for pHs in solutions, dealing with acids and bases and neutralizations, dealing with mixtures can be extremely complicated. So this is a great example to kind of show four different ways that this can be calculated uh, from the same starting point. So it says calculate the pH of a solution that results when 25 milliliters of a 0.12 molar HCl of HCl is mixed with, and then they give you a bunch of the following options. So before I even go into that, what I need to continually understand is that concentration is moles per liter. And when you want a concentration at the end and things are being mixed, you got to understand that sometimes you're adding moles and sometimes you're adding volume and that will change your concentrations. So if I look at the beginning of this, this is the only thing that's going to be consistent from one to the next, is that if I have one point or point one zero molar solution, I can set it up like this. And I can determine the number of moles of HCl I have. And the resulting answer is 0 0.003 moles of HCl. Now, this is a strong acid that's very important to understand that all of that will go towards uh, helping with the concentration of H+. So the first problem, if I just add water, think about it. If I have a solution and I'm simply adding water, all I'm doing is diluting it. So I'm affecting my volume. So what I really have then, if we look at this first problem, and again, it's always moles over liters. Keep thinking about that. Is I have my moles over, and technically I should have more sig figs, but over my total volume. So I have 0 0.025 plus 0 0.040 liters. I'm adding the 40 milliliters to my 25 milliliters. So the resulting molarity would be 0 0.046 molar, which should make sense. It started at 0 0.12, and I've added uh, more water than I even started with as my solution. And now it's asking for pH. So I can assume that this is actually all of H+, because it's a strong acid. So then pH equals negative log 0 0.046. And I get a 1.34 pH. So that's simply a dilution. Okay, I'm going to erase all this and let's look at the next problem. Our second problem is adding 70 milliliters of a 0 0.0500 molar HBr solution. Please understand that is a strong acid. So that is talking about bringing H to the table. So I'm bringing uh, moles of H plus with volume. I'm bringing both moles and liters. So I need to, again, determine the number of moles of H plus that are floating in this solution. So I have 0 0.00350 moles of HBr, which in essence is H plus because it's a strong acid. So if I have 0 0.003 moles of H plus from my HCl and 0 0.0035 moles of HBr in from my HBr, all being dumped into the same container. And if this doesn't make a lot of sense visually, I'm literally taking both of these and I'm dumping them in together. And I'm going to have a certain number of moles and I'm going to have a certain amount of volume. So how do I calculate that then? I'm going to put them together. I'm going to put the total, I'm going to add a couple sig figs here because I should have, the total number of moles of my H plus over the total volume so by doing that I get 0 0.068 and now I answer the question which is what is the pH get 1.16. So that is combining two strong acids. It's much different than adding two weak acids because 
all of the concentration, all of the moles in my solution are all going towards H+. Let's take a look at our next example. What happens when I add 30 milliliters of a 0.1 molar KOH solution? This is a strong base. So that means that is bringing OH to the table. So again, how many moles are being brought? So let's take a look at that. Okay, so now this is a neutralization problem. If you have a certain amount of OH and you have a certain amount of H+, whatever is left standing can be applied to a pH equation. So I have that much OH, and I'm going to do it actually right above this. I have, and I'm going to maintain my sig figs that I should have had in the beginning, my H+, plus, and the difference between them is zero. So I have the exact equal amounts of H plus and OH minus, which in essence basically just makes uh, water, but they negate each other. So my pH, without being able to do any extra calculations, would be 7.00. It is perfectly neutral. I have the same amount of H plus as I do OH minus. Let's take a look at the final example. If I had 100 mils of a 0 0.02 molar calcium hydroxide solution to my hydrochloric acid solution, what would happen? Again, this is a strong base. So, a couple things with this. One, you got to understand that this compound breaks up into these ions, and each ion carries 0.02 molar. So I'm going to have double the OH concentration. So I can do this in two ways. And I'm going to just say right away that I have 0 0.0400 molar of my OH. And I'm going to have 100 milliliters, which is 0.1 liters. And that is going to be my, molar, my moles. So I have 0 0.004 moles of OH minus. So... What we need to do is figure out how many moles are left. I'm not doing this in molarity left or yet. So I have what it appears to be is excess hydroxide. Because if I have this many moles of hydroxide and this many moles of H+, plus, what I have remaining is 0 0.0010 moles of OH-. minus. Well, what is molarity? It's moles over liters. I have 100 mils here and 25 mils here. So what I'm going to do, bring it up here. I'm going to have 0 0.01, sorry, 00100 moles of OH minus over my total volume. So 0 0.100 plus 0 0.025 liters. And I'm going to get my concentration for my OH minus. So I get 0 0.00800 molar OH minus, and now I need to calculate pH. And we just have to make sure we're doing this correctly. So it's POH. If we round, it'll be about 2.10 POH, which in essence then, going to be 11.90 pH. So it becomes very acidic, or I'm sorry, very basic extremely quickly when you start to have excess OH minus over your H plus. So we went from dilution to combining two acids to a neutralization to not only a neutralization, but having an excess of OH minus. And that is how you approach each one by talking about the total moles over the top.